list five major decisions in your life which everybody, including myself, have to make but actually change your life trajectory for the good or for the worse. Depending on the decision that you make, it will literally make or break your life. Hello my friend, I am Mel. Welcome to my channel, Mel Holistic. Now in my whole lifetime, I have been through multiple ups and downs in different aspects of my life. I have made some wise and good decisions as well as bad ones. And through my sharing of my personal life experiences and observations through some other individuals, I have realized that these five major decisions will literally change your whole life trajectory. And I hope through my sharing, you can gain some knowledge and wisdom out of this that translate to how you can make a better choice for yourself and make better decisions that will literally help improve your life and make it for the better. The first major decision that you need to make in your life is your life partner. And I cannot stress enough how important and critical this decision is because it will literally make your life between heaven and hell. So, you know, we cannot choose who our parents are. We cannot choose where we are born in, which family we are born in, we cannot choose our siblings. But in your whole life, you possess the power and control to choose your life partner. So let me give you my personal real life example to illustrate to you and how you can make a good choice to choose your life partner. So before I got married to my current husband, I was in a relationship for six years before that. And my then boyfriend was 12 years my senior. So you can imagine, I mean, a relationship age should not be a issue. But the one of the issues that actually caused was that because he's 12 years my senior, he was on a semi-retirement mode. Whereas for me, I was still very young. I was in my peak to build my career, to work hard, to make money. And so our lives goals were somewhat you know a bit off already he was in moving in this direction i was trying to move towards this direction but of course i need time to make money to build up my retirement nest before i can literally go into you know semi-retirement or full retirement so our life goals was a little bit off track so while i was spending time to build my career he was you know, enjoying his semi-retirement life, which is good because he had a lot of time and when we needed to spend time with each other, it was easy. But along the way, we also had a lot of uh, trust issues. All right, so, you know, in a relationship, it is important that you can trust the other partner without, you know, having to guess where he is, who is he exactly meeting, and over time, trust issues will really create cracks in the relationship. So can you imagine, with this kind of trust issues in place, imagine if I were to get married to this person, what would my life be? Every day I will be suspicious, and will I have a peace of mind? And will the relationship be strong? I doubt so. And over time, unhappiness can come up and his baggage from previous relationship that continues on in this relationship is not going to do us healthy. So it came to a point where I actually asked God for a sign. I'm not trying to be religious here, but I literally asked God to give me a sign. When I have the sign, it is time to call off the relationship with my then boyfriend. And really, the sign really came to me and I saw something that it was different from what he said to me. So essentially, I was being lied to. And that was a sign I took and I decided to call the relationship off. I'm glad that I finally took the plunge to end the relationship, the six-year relationship. Can you imagine six years of my youth? For, for, for a woman, it, six years of your youth, it means a lot because you know, women, we, we are racing with time. You know, people say men age like why, women age like she. So anyway, <laughs> so after I broke off from the relationship, I knew very well what I want and what I don't want in a life partner. So of course, before this six years relationship, I didn't share with you, right? I had an 11 year relationship before that. So can you imagine I was in two long relationships. One was 11 years. 
one was six years. So to me now, after I'm done with two long relationships, I told myself and I told God what I didn't want in a life partner and what I wanted in a life partner. I actually wrote down in my handphone. Essentially, I didn't write it down, but I I used digital methods. I jot it down in my handphone, point by point, that I don't want to have a partner whom I cannot trust. I don't want an emotional partner who has baggages that I have to, you know, be bearing his past baggage with him. I don't want someone who, who my family and friends don't like. So my family and friends won't understand me and they probably know, they can see things that I can't see. I, I don't want a partner that cannot get along with my family and friends because it's important if I'm going to get married to this person, if this person is going to be my life partner, he's going to be part of my family and part of my social circle. I would love to bring him to participate in family activities, with, socialize with my friends. My friends become my partner's friends, right? And I also wrote down what I wanted in a life partner. I wanted someone who is family-oriented, of course, uh, financial stable, and someone who can love and care for me and my family. And of course, the list goes on. So I pray to God to let me meet this person, to let me really have no obligations, someone who can let me love him back full-heartedly without holding back. And so I was lucky, I was fortunate enough, and I met this person who is now my husband. And can you believe it? We only dated for four months and we decided, I knew very clear that this person is going to be my life partner. Only just within these four months, we actually went ahead to buy our matrimonial home. So which means that buying a matrimonial home means that I'm going to get, we are going to get married to each other, right? And so within four months, me and my husband, we went to buy our matrimonial home together. And from the day that we started dating to my second daughter was born, it took us about just three years. Yeah, about three years. So what I'm trying to share with you is that time is not the factor to knowing your life partner. Of course, time is essential to see the true colour of the person. It is a quality of time spent to really understand whether this person is suitable for you or not. I would strongly suggest that before you, I mean, if you really want to, you know, be married or decide that this person is your life partner, you want to stay together for your whole lifetime. Before, especially before you get married, in my opinion, I think it is important that you actually stay together with this person. Just two of you alone. No parents, no other people, just two of you alone in the house. Because when you stay and live together, you can really understand this person much more. His or her ha daily habits, you know, even little things like maybe that person wakes up without brushing teeth, or that person after eating his food, he does not, he or she does not wash the dishes. All these little things can really add up to annoy you. And are you okay with that? So to me, it's important that you try to stay with this person for a while. And this will tell you a lot whether this life partner is for you. And so I will be sharing more of what are the other major decisions that will make or break your life in part 2 of the video. So do check out the description below as I will share the link with you once it's ready to be published. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.